Okay, guys, welcome to a, another Complet tutorial. This one is dealing with how to use Google Slides. Google Slides is a multimedia type presentation software program, kind of like PowerPoint. Okay, so the first thing we want to do before we get started is to make sure that we are starting the file or opening the file uh, from the location where we want to save it. That just makes things easier. So to do that, we're going to go to our waffle. We're going to go to a drive. Then we're going to find our classroom folder. Then we're going to go to our, our specific class. So find your complex class, whatever color that is, double click on that. Find your projects folder, double click on that. Find your Google Office projects folder, double click on that. And then find your slides folder, double click on that. And now we're at the correct location, the location where we want to save this file. So to open a slides file, we go up to the top left hand corner and find the new button, click on it, go down to slides and click on that. Ignore this, you won't see this. All right, so here we are. We've got an untitled presentation. First thing we should do is name it. So I'm going to name this project 1- Autobio, it's for autobiography, because this is about you. All right, so first thing we're going to do is blank out this layout, because we want to put our own items in. Now to do that, let's go to layout, and let's select blank. Okay, so now we've got a blank slide. Next, we're, we are going to add a theme. Now, you have different choices for themes, and the main rule of thumb is contrast. If you choose a light background, you're going to want dark text. If you choose a dark background, you're going to want light text. So I'm going to choose this simple dark. Okay. Now, in the end, we are going to want to have six slides total. So to make my life easy, I am just going to click on this first slide, copy it, and then I'm going to click paste. And I'll do that again. And if I want to, I could use the keyboard shortcut, which is Control V for paste, until I have six slides. OK? All right. So the first thing we're going to do is put in a title. And all titles are going to be done using WordArt. So to do that, we go up to Insert, Find WordArt, click on that. And then we just simply type what it is we want to type. So in this instance, for this first slide, we're going to type my autobiography. Okay, click away from it, and you'll notice that it makes it appear. Now, you can move this around, you can change its color, you can change the font size, all this stuff. So I'm going to demonstrate that. So I'm going to double click on it. This little box will come up. First thing I'm going to do is change its color. Okay, so come up to the fill color, change it right there. Next thing I want to do is I want to change its font style. Now you have a bunch of different options. Notice this one made it so big that it did not fit on the screen. That's okay, we can resize it. What you choose is up to you, as long as it's readable. I think I'm gonna change this. I'm not crazy about the all caps. Uh, that's not bad. Okay. Next, we're going to put in a graphic. Now, you can use uh, whatever graphic you like, uh, as long as it's appropriate. You can use a picture of you if you want. That's even recommended. Um, in this instance, since I'm doing a fake one, I'm just going to grab a picture online. Okay. So I'm going to open up a new tab. I'm going to go to Images. And just for sake of having some sort of topic, I'll use Bart Simpson. So this is an autobiography about Bart Simpson. And then what I want to do is I want to go to Tools, Color, and I want to select Transparent, because I want this to already be uh, have a transparent background, so I don't have to photo edit it. Could if I needed to. I know how to photo edit, but this is just easier. So I'll click on that. now. Once the image comes up, remember if it has a checkered background, that means it is in fact a clear background. So right click on the picture, go down to copy image, 
It's just the easiest way to do it. Right click, paste. It puts it in there and it's got a clear background. You can resize it, move it around, do whatever you need to do. All right, so we've got the first two elements that each slide has to have. You have to have a word art title, you have to have at least one graphic, and next, the last element we have to have is text. I'm gonna use a text box for that. So we're gonna go up to insert and text box. And notice when you select that, you get a, a little crosshair and that is what you use to draw out your text box. Now, I'm going to write uh, Bart. A shocking untold story. A little auto completion right there. All right. I'll keep the period. Now, it's uh, black on black. That doesn't show up, so I'm going to need to change the color. So I'm going to highlight. I'm going to come up to text color, and I'll select the same color that I used for the title. You don't have to, but I am. Uh, I'm going to change its size. Currently, it's 14. In your rubric, you'll see that I want text to be no smaller than 20. Okay. Now, I'm going to also change the style. So I highlight the text box. I go to this button right over here where it has the font. And I can choose a different font. Uh, I'll just choose. I don't know. That. Okay. All right. So now I've got my three main objects, my word art title, my graphic, and my text. Now, next, we're going to choose a transition, and which is an effect that occurs in between slides. And we are also going to choose custom animations that make each of these little uh, graphics do something. All right, so let's go to transition. And that brings up a sidebar over here, and you can see that currently there's none. Um, what we're going to do is click on this arrow, and we can choose. There's not a ton of options. Um, I will do slide from the left. And to test that, I can click play, and you'll see what it does. Play, comes up, slides in from the left. Click stop. and I think I like that well enough, so I'm gonna say, you know what, let's do that to each and every slide. Boom, apply that to all slides. Okay, so next, object animations. First, we need to select an object in order to animate it. Um, you can do these individually, but the easiest way is to select them all at once, click Add Animation, and then it adds them. Now, we wanna change the presets Okay, I don't want them all to be the same thing. So I'm gonna click on this arrow and I'm gonna say, oh, I don't want it to just appear. I want it to, I want it to fly in from the left. And I don't want it to be on the click, I want it with previous. So in other words, as soon as the transition does its thing, I want this graphic to come in and do its thing. Okay, and so I'm gonna do that with the rest of these two. So instead of appear, I'll do spin. It's already with previous, so I'm good there. And then here, I'll do fly in from the right. And that's already with previous as well. So to see what it looks like, to sort of test it, I can click play. So then I've got my transition. And then um, I've got my uh, custom animations. But notice that my um, text box here went away. So I'm gonna choose something else. I said fly out to the right. I think I meant to select fly in. So. I'm gonna say fly in from the right. You don't wanna choose anything that will end up having one of your objects disappear. So after they do their thing, you wanna make sure that you can still see them. So now we'll play it again. Okay, so there we have it. We have, um, we have our, our slide uh, and on our slide, we have a dark background with light text. We have a word art title. We have a text box, which is at least size 20. We have a graphic and we have um, slide transition and custom animations on each slide. 
Now, when you're done, each and every slide will have a minimum of these three objects. Now, you can do more graphics if you want, and you can, you can do more text if you want, but these are the basics on how to do this. Okay? All right.